settled in back into your seats, I'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. Jan Young Lin, who is the president of the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce. Good evening. Thank you very much for coming to our uh, annual community uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, we welcome you. Uh, I'm Jan Young Lin, uh, the current president of the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce in San Francisco Bay Area. Each year, uh, our chamber hosts this event as a means of uh, sharing our blessings with everyone in the community. Most of our members are immigrants from Taiwan, and we all have Taiwan as our home, our home country. But we also all settle down here in the Bay Area. So Bay Area is our home. So we want to share what God has given us with the community and with everyone so everybody can be happy and, and prosper. And this is the season of Thanksgiving and I wish everyone a good, happy Thanksgiving and uh, hope uh, we all have God's blessing in the years to come. And before and I would like to uh, recognize and give thanks to a few individuals and uh, organizations who help us uh, make this event successful. Uh, first, I would like to give thanks to all of the members of the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce. Uh, they have their generous donation to make this event possible. And I also want to re recognize Landmark Corporation who donated 500 jackets. So each, each of you, when you leave tonight, please stop by the, uh, the room, uh, by the doorway to pick up a jacket so you can have a warm winter. And next, I would like to uh, recognize our co-sponsors. First is the Centerville Presbyterian Church. Um, this is where we are. We thank them for providing the facility. And we also want to recognize Tammy Soyo and Cordelia Lin of the church who helped uh, organize this event. And I want, also want to recognize the Centerville Free Dining Room. I think a, a lot of us are very familiar with the Free Dining Room. They have done a good work for many decades and uh, we are very uh, honored to uh, be able to partner with the Free Dining Room to host tonight's uh, event. And in particular, I want to recognize uh, Susan Fritz and Sarah Matthew. And next, I want to recognize our uh, two Taiwanese church in, the, in this area, Emmanuel Presbyterian. Church uh, in Fremont and for Monsan United Methodist Church uh, in San Diego. Uh, they are all churches of, of, of comprised of most of the uh, Taiwanese immigrants, and they have provided uh, their, their prayer and they also send uh, many volunteers among us tonight. And next, I want to uh, recognize Agape Asian Church. When you come in today, you probably will see their uh, uh, move, mobile dental unit uh, bus uh, parked right in front of the free dining room. And uh, I think Dr. Wu and uh, Dr. Ren are here with us. They're over there. Please give them a pause. 
And we also want to thank the whole project. I think they also provided many services to the community. And next, I want to um, recognize the people who prepare our food tonight. The Golden Harvest Catering uh, Service. And headed by John. John is over there. Give John applause. John has helped us with the food for this event for many, many years. I, I lost time. But thank you, John. And um, I also want to uh, thank all the volunteers today. Uh, we have many, many more volunteers from the Chamber of Commerce and from different organizations. Uh, and also, we have some very, very special people among us, and they are disguised as one of the servers. Uh, first, I want to recognize the city mayor of Newark, Alan Nagy. Alan is hiding right over there. Good afternoon, everyone. And next, I want to uh, say special thanks to the city of Fremont because we are in Fremont and we are supported by many, many city officials from Fremont tonight. Uh, first is our beautiful mayor, Lily, Lily May. And we also have our city manager, Mark Dene. Where is Mark? Oh, Mark is over there. And we also have three members of city council, uh, Raj Sawan over there, and Teresa Payne, beautiful Teresa is also Taiwanese. And I think we also have uh, Sao Yang over there. And tonight with us, we also have the director, Roy Yen. Uh, from the uh, Mirpita's Taiwanese uh, Cultural Center. And also the Director General of the, um, of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office, which is the de facto consulate of Taiwan in San Francisco. He is on the way, he is stuck in the traffic, but we will see him later. And the last, I want to introduce our MC today, Leona Chen. Um, Leona is the pride of our the Taiwanese community here in the Bay Area. Many of us have seen her grow from a very little kid now to a fine young woman. He, she is our pride and she is our princess. So with that, I give the mic back to Leona. Welcome to the stage, Mr. John Shea, who is the founder of the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Please give him one more round of applause. Thank you, Dilla. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think we forgot to uh, thank one person, that's a Jan Lin. He, you know, is the first president of the Taiwanese Chambers. And I'll give you a little bit background for this uh, event. In 1998, I had a chance to work with the uh, Asian community, Korean community. They hold a very, very big event in Oakland City. They host about 3,000 uh, you know, people uh, at the time to uh, invite all the homeless in the uh, Oakland City. So I had a chance to join them. Of course, the uh, Chamber of Commerce also joined them. So I picked up the idea, say, wow, we don't have that kind of uh, reception in our Southern Alameda County area. So we came over to uh, this area. At the very beginning, the uh, Tri-City Homeless Coalition held us uh, to organize this event, and that is back in 1999. So from 1999 all the way to this year. This year is very special. This year is the first time we catch a rain on, on the event stage. So, you know, uh, 
it bring us to warm gathering inside this uh, gym and have a uh, uh, wonderful dinner and, and sit around with the community member. It really doesn't matter if you know a person right next to you or not, but it's a season, it's a holiday season. We are so happy that we can meet here and say hello to each other and share the uh, happy year. And as I said, this back in June 1999. At the time we started, there was a uh, very uh, scratch from the beginning. At that time, we probably still remember our uh, actual seat was like a fountain for the free dining uh, room service, Amanda uh, King. So right now, we have a special recognition uh, for Amanda, and now Susan will say a few words. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm really glad to be here, and I know Sarah is very happy that you're here as well. Um, thank you for coming to the Taiwanese Thanksgiving dinner. I'd like to recognize a very special person in the Tri-Cities area. Her name was Arminta King. And how many of you, by a show of hands, remember Arminta? Yes, Arminta was an incredible woman. She uh, worked tirelessly for 26 years as the director of the Centerville Free Dining Room. Three years after she and her husband moved to the Tri-Cities area in 1988, she joined the Free Dining Effort, which was seeking volunteers for a new free meals program. So Free Dining started in 1988. At that time, she was a deacon at the First Presbyterian Church of Newark. She immediately volunteered to be the first director of the Free Dining Room. As a result of her leadership, the program has always been strictly a volunteer program. Over 80 volunteers wrap silverware, make salads, prepare and cook the main course and vegetable, clean the dishes and equipment, and many serve the food to the people that walk through our doors at the free dining room. Arminta wrote a lot of the procedures and methods that we use that are still in use today to make this program run smoothly. She also insisted, a lot of people don't know this, that the program not receive any funds from federal, state, or county sources. So to this day, we are funded solely through the generosity of individuals, churches, service clubs, and local businesses. All of the money that pays for the food at Free Dining comes from people that live in the Tri-Cities area. What an incredible testament to the support of our community for helping to keep our doors open for over 31 years. Amazing. Why did she work so tirelessly for 26 years? Her passion for people was what kept her going. She sincerely believed that that is why we are put on earth, to serve other people. She was grateful to serve in the capacity that she did and believed it was a blessing from God to be able to be the director. Arminta was recognized in 2012 as the 20th Assembly District's Woman of the Year by Assembly Member Bob Wykowski. In 2014, she retired and she turned the reins over to me and Sarah. A hard thing to do. We continue to co-direct to this day. But even after she retired, she continued to be a counselor to others who were in need of spiritual guidance. As she approaches the age of 100, she'll be 100 next year. Yeah, amazing. She has been confined to her home more and more, unfortunately. So she couldn't be here today to join in our celebration of her work. But Arminta's life and work can be summed up in these verses from James 2. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but do not have works? Can faith save you? If a brother or sister is naked and lacks daily food, 
And one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat your fill, and yet you do not supply their bodily needs. What is the good of that? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. Arminta has lived a life of vibrant faith and has shown that to many of you through her excellent service to the free dining room. Thank you, Arminta, for your unflagging faith and tireless work on behalf of the hungry in our community. Thank you, Arminta. Thank you so much. Um, I'd also like to welcome to the stage now Reverend William Cho and get a seat to join Susan for a prayer to open up my night. Good evening. My name is William Chow, pastor of the uh, San Leandro for Most Sun United Methodist Church. It is good for me to be back to Fremont area because I used to pastor the uh, first United Methodist Church. I actually, I, you know, I, 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 you know, I met with several of my, you know, former church members. Uh, my church is one of the sponsors of this event, uh, so they asked me to give the prayer, and I believe the prayer will be the similar prayer will be given in three languages: Taiwanese, English, and Spanish. So I trust that you know, you can find uh, a particular language to your liking. Now I would like to invite all of you, uh, if you are willing, to join me in this prayer in Taiwanese. I, I believe that even if you cannot understand the language, you can join me in your heart. Let us pray. Chin 台湾上会的家孤板心中有列阻碍来因传唤我们来祈祷和耶稣祈祷阿们 And now a prayer in Spanish Señor de todas las bendiciones de ti ha venido esta gran cosecha de dones hacia nosotros con nuestros corazones en alto venimos hoy a esta mesa a darte gracias Estamos agradecidos no solamente por el don de nuestras vidas, pero también por los dones de amistad, amor, devoción y perdón que hemos compartido. En este día te damos gracias por todo que nos ha dado en este año y por esta fiesta de gracias. Te damos gracias por la salvación por tu Hijo Jesucristo y la vida eterna que podemos disfrutar contigo. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Join me in prayer. Our Father and our God, we thank you, O Lord, for this evening where you have blessed us and have given us grace so that grace may be given to others freely. Uh, Lord, may it, may it be a time as we get to feast and to enjoy one another's company that we get to enjoy you. Uh, we thank you for the, all the hands and feet and the willing bodies who have, are willing to serve one another here. Uh, because, God, uh, this is the very calling that you have given us, which is to bless this city and this people. So, Lord, continue to lead us, continue to bless us. And we pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you so much. 
So I don't know if you've noticed by the banner behind me that says Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce as well as our little vest that say I love Taiwan. But many of us here tonight are from the Taiwanese American community and there's one thing you should know about Taiwanese people is that we love to feed people. So we are so grateful and so honored to be able to share this meal and this evening with you tonight. We also have a couple of performances lined up for you. The first one is going to be a Bollywood dance by Miss Annabelle Down. Miss Annabelle Down, if you're ready, 